got uh, traded for? Is he uh, is he going to make a difference? Do you think? I can try what? I don't know. You don't know what? I don't know. Ira's last uh, text was I can try. Oh, from. Okay. From Oakland, I know, right. Okay, here it is. It's called La. I hope you can adjust uh, to the time change here. Not it's, to mention the Yankee fans. It's called La Fo La, La Fochi La Foca Focaccia. La Focaccia. Focaccia. The Focaccia Lounge, Ira, in Levittown. Maybe you and Linda should try it out. On Saturday night, you need reservations. Okay. It's a small place. And they got these old timers. Looks like they're all 80 years old and above singing do up music. And guest guys come on and sing. Songs. Oh, they have they have karaoke. No, it's just people. Other artists come up because it's like a whole big. Community. You mean I could, I couldn't go up there and sing? Probably not. Not unless you. Maybe they throw lasagna at me. I can take it home. Yeah, they might. No, they have. No, they have all the all, you know, every week they have different artists, but they follow each they other. They do need they, pitching. What? They have all they, every week they have all the artists, but the other some other artists huh. always come to visit, and they'll go ahead and sing a couple solos and stuff. Lots of fun. Well, unfortunately, Ladies I don't think I don't think I don't promoted I don't, La, I don't La think Focaccia La Focaccia no, Lounge Focaccia Focaccia Lounge. lounge. La Focaccia Lounge, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Ellen, like I said. It's a lot of fun, except on Saturdays you will need reservations. Oh, I would go during the week. To have no music during the week. Oh, well, in that case. Tell me, do they have anybody going around uh, telling your fortune? No. You know, sometimes when you go to a Greek restaurant, yeah. you know, they have an old woman coming around. Yep. And then she puts a hex on you. Got to go now. Okay, Ira, you take care. Regards to Linda. Thank you for spending time with us. All right, that was Ira from Florida. No, that was Ira from... from where is he? Long Island. I thought he lived in... No, my friend Joel is from Florida. Oh, that's... Okay. We all grew up together. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Uh, all right. Ira, it was Eddie, Ira, George... Joel, me, and Danny. That was the six of us. Oh, okay, now. Danny is in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, I think he's in Ottawa, actually. George lives in Brooklyn. Ira lives out on the island. Eddie splits his time between Oceanside and Florida. And Joel lives full time down in Florida with his wife. And who's the dancer? Joel and Janet dance. A lot, and Ira and Linda dance a lot. Okay. The only dance I do is a slow dance. What can I tell you? Farmingdale. That's right. Ira's from Farmingdale. All right. That's where my daughter lives in Farmingdale. When was the last time you guys saw each other? We're going to see each other in August again. This is the group that I get together once every five to six weeks. And we have lunch and go to a movie. Oh, okay, that's nice. So now you know. All right, good. Let me tell you, we've maintained this friendship 57 years, longer than any of us had ever been married. I think we were, I met Eddie and Ira, I, I met them all when I was 12. I had just moved to Rockaway in January of 19. 60. January of 1960, I believe. All right. We were in the seventh grade and eighth grade together. They went to Far Rockaway High School, and Joel and I went to Brooklyn Tech. Joel became an engineer, and I became a teacher. All right. Joel worked, uh, he used to do a lot of work for OSHA. Oh, well, yeah? But he, uh, his his he majored in electrical engineering, but 
his field was safety engineering. He used yeah, to that's, go in. Yeah, that's he, OSHA. He used he used to go to Mars, the corporation. Yeah. You know, and they'd give him tons of candy to go home with. You know. They bribed him with candy. That's what they did. They bribed him with candy. That is terrible. No, well, they should. I tell you, Ellen would be very happy if they did that to me. You know, what can I tell you? But anyway, uh, now you people know the history of all my friends. Okay, yep. the guys I grew up with in Rockaway, basically. And you know one of his enemies, me. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Well, you're a, you're a current friend from here in Oceanside. How long? Let me see. The boys graduated sixth grade together. All right. They were 11. I think Matt was almost 11 because his birthday's in November. Mm -hmm. So that's 20 years because now, now they're both 31. Right. Wow. Oh, my God. Where does the time go? Where does the time go? That's true. I don't feel any older than I did yesterday. You realize that? Yes. That's why you're checking your... Well, it's time for us to get off, ladies and gentlemen. No, not yes, at all. Yes, it is, because you are, you are checking your, uh, no, I'm not doing your email. No, I'm not. All right. I'm not checking my emails. As a matter of fact, I want to play one more song, but ladies But not from this French guy, I hope. Not, the, not French, you know. Love is a mystery. Tchaikovsky. Ooh, do the nutcracker. Where? Right in front of you. Oh. That's good for the next 40 minutes. Let's see how long this one is. The Nutcracker, Op 71, this Act is 1, Opus Overture. This is 71, Act 1. This is the Overture. We'll play the Overture. That's good enough. All right. Available for airplay now. Three minutes, and that's good, because by the time it's over, we'll be ready to sign off.
Yeah. Yeah. One second. Yeah. CC Radio Network and six nine two zero six six RD. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope that that put you in the mood. It's uh, coming up to ten twenty five and. We're getting ready to say good night. Many of you will be uh, heading for bed. I have to get up in the morning for work. So uh, this is Dr. Mark. And this is Felix. We're thanking you for listening to the show. Thanking Ira once again for being our guest. And we hope that he comes back again next week. Uh, we hope we get one or two more listeners coming on the air. If texting, yeah, they got to get used to listening to us on Mondays now. Yes, in fact, uh, I wish there was a way we can let people know that we're on Monday, but uh, I guess we can't. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say this, but I've got to go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mark. That's Ladies quite all right. Gentlemen, have a good night.